hi there. I'm um, just waiting for supper to cook. It's been quite a busy day. I haven't done anything terribly exciting. Well, it was quite exciting because I went to a new exercise class this morning. Um, one of those uh, Rosemary Connolly classes, who, which is actually quite exciting. I haven't done one for ages. Uh, in fact, the last exercise class was actually a line dancing class, which was the most enormous fun. It really was great fun. So I thought I'd better get on um, get on the treadmill again and get some more exercise. That's the trouble with not doing a nine to five job five days a week. You um you just don't move as much as you should do. So I've started again. And I'm going with two of my girlfriends from my book club and they've been going for years and years. And it's, it's just a fun thing to do. Um, so I went today. There's one more session next week and then of course it finishes for Christmas. And I guess it won't start till about quite possibly the second week of January. So I should have to keep doing lots of walking. I was quite fit actually, I was quite surprised. Uh, so that was very good. What else? Oh, well, I say I'm just making supper now. I've done my accounts, which is brilliant, uh, which I really don't like doing, but you have to do because you have to know where you are. And um, I went looking yesterday in Marks and Spots to see if they had any of these maraschino cherries, because I know they do have them. Anyway, whether they're going to have them or not, I don't know, but they haven't arrived yet for Christmas, though apparently they do sell them, so um, I go to go online and see if I can find them anywhere else. Because now I've had a taste of them again, I should like some more, and it would be a rather nice treat at Christmas time to have some, to have something, you know, with something. Actually, the girl in Marks and Sparks suggested you, she had them with ham, but I, I haven't heard of that before. But anyway, it could be quite a novel idea. So, so that's that. Oh, the book club, yes, just a quick one. Book club, we finished Lady Chatterley's Lover, we, um, which I'm quite pleased. He does write very well in parts, but um, well, for goodness sake, you don't want to keep on reading about somebody else's sexual habits. Too. <laughs> just quite funny, really. Um, but he does write very beautifully. And I have to say, some of his poems are really rather splendid, quite delicate ones, and with great depth feeling and passion, oh no, not passion, um, feeling and, and um, imagination for and with nature and so yes, he's written some rather good poems. I didn't actually find one of his travel books, although I did buy a book from um, oh, the Oxfam bookshop in Banbury. They had quite a few of his books. But I did find a few bits of travel inspired writing in the book that I bought, but um, I didn't get to read them out. Uh, I should have done some more reading at home and <laughs> just been too busy. It's been a very busy thing since Friday. It's been very busy indeed. And I think that's about all. What's tomorrow? Oh, well, I should be doing some more cooking. Now, really, tomorrow, I really am going to make that cake using the sweet potato. So I've got my sweet potatoes all ready, and I'll make that tomorrow because that would be rather nice. And so this sausage casserole I'm doing for supper, I'm actually making a huge batch of it so that I can feed the freezer with some more, so that we have some basic meals, so that when I'm busy cooking, there's something there that we can eat straight away. Okay, well, I think that's all. I thought I really must get in a chat before the end of the day. <laughs> so I think we'll be having supper soon. Okay, look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. So over and out. Bye.